how to remove joint compound or spackle off of your carpet. You're gonna wanna take a hammer, not a huge hammer like this. This is all I could find in my house. <laughs> so anyways, look, you're gonna wanna take a smaller hammer. You wanna make sure everything's crunched straight down. Okay, and then you're gonna wanna hit it diagonally downwards in the scraping motion, the last part. And voila. Let's try this piece right here. This guy. Straight down. And okay, we're just gonna get two more pieces right there, right there. Look, if you're watching this video, most likely you didn't put a cover down when you were skim coating your walls. And if that's the case, shame on you. <laughs> All right, look, okay, so this is the hammer method. This works very well. Make sure you use a smaller hammer. Another method is you take an oscillating tool with a drywall cutting blade um, usually after you use the cutting blade for four hours on drywall, it gets very dull and there's no teeth at the top. Um, so if you have a dull drywall cutting blade, you would just use it and you would vibrate everything and remove it in a similar fashion. But you know what, this tip is actually modified to cut through wood. So I'm very hesitant to use it on my carpet because it might cut the carpet. So yeah, I would suggest the hammer method. There's always a oscillating tool with a dull drywall blade attachment, but it has to be a dull drywall blade. Otherwise you're running the risk of cutting the carpet. But yeah, I would just say stick to the hammer method, guys. All right, well, I hope this helped. So let me further clarify what I meant by using an oscillating tool. This is a drywall blade, okay? When it's brand new, it has factory cut teeth in it, like so. Kind of looks like that. After you use it for four hours, the drywall blade the teeth wear away and then you have, if you could imagine this, just a dull rectangular blade with no teeth. That is what I meant when I said use a dull drywall blade, okay? This blade, however, after it became dull, I took a cutoff wheel and I cut little slots in it. And that was so I could cut through wood. It would also take through wood. You know, if I want to cut wood trim, okay? So because this tip was modified, that's why I'm not going to use it on carpet because it might slice right through the carpet. But I'm saying if you did have a dull drywall blade, it is an option that for whatever reason, if you wanted to, you could probably vibrate it off. Okay, but I would actually just prefer the hammer method. But for whatever reason, if you were to opt for the oscillating tool, make sure it is a dull blade. Just to clarify, yes. Okay. All right, look, so your final option, if you have little bits of residual joint compound um, traces in your carpet, you would go and use a wet vac, perhaps like a rigid wet vac at Home Depot. They're like $50. And you just take a bowl of water, add some dish soap, stir it up, and then just rub it into the carpet wet, okay? And then you take a scrub brush, scrub it, and then you take the wet vac and just vacuum everything up. And that's how you would make your carpet 100%. And that, is the very last tip I have.
Goodbye.